Hey everyone, it's Jay Rodriguez with Real People, Real Voices. And today we're talking about helping a community in need. LGBTQ people often face challenges, but our community is resilient and a close-knit group full of people who are willing to step up and help those who are in need. Now today we're joined by two such change makers who were able to build resources to help solve some of the challenges of their fellow community members. Please meet Kayla Gore, Executive Director of My Sister's House and Nikisa Newton, founder of Meals for Heals. So happy to have you both here. So let's dive right in. Kayla, can you tell us about My Sister's House and its mission? My sister's house, our mission is to advance trans people of color here in the Mid-South. That's basic bottom line. We provide emergency shelter. We do name and gender marker changes. We uh, help with the fees that are associated with those two processes. Uh, we also have a driver license reinstatement program, which is tied to um, our uh, voter rest uh, restoration project. We do uh, survival kits, which we have volunteers in the back now uh, preparing survival kits. We are starting a new initiative uh, where we're trying to keep uh, trans people who are uh, sex workers more safe. So we're providing them with metal detectors so they can screen uh, people who are coming in for metal, for guns, for knives. Uh, because a lot of the times, like I said, people are in situations uh, because they have to be, not because they want to be. Nikisa, let's talk about Meals for Heals. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? The mission of Meals for Heals is to make vegan and vegetarian food uh, more approachable to, to resilience groups, to serve the sex working, the active sex working community here in Portland. So it started out back in January 2019. Uh, I was just delivering to clubs. I, I, I structured a menu, curated a menu that's very vegan and vegetarian friendly, being that uh, dancers are going to eat their meals late night, you know, after 12, 1, 3, 4 a.m. So I wanted to make meals that will, you know, digest easily, that won't uh, garlic and alums that won't like breathe off their skin because they have to have intimate settings when they're at work with their clientele. So um, that's that's kind of how Meals Hill started. I was trying to feed my ex-girlfriend at the time who was dancing and interning and going to, uh, going to school as well. So um, I decided to make meals for her. She asked me to deliver it to the club and that's kind of how it all took off. That's fantastic. Thank you. So what's, what's been the, the biggest challenge facing Meals for Heels? I think it's just the stigma of sex work. Uh, also, I think just the stigma of a black woman running a business. I often will be at events and people will go to maybe one of my coworkers thinking that's the owner or they'll talk to them in a certain manner. And then when they realize it's me, it me, then, uh, you know, everything changes. So I think working with the sex worker community, putting a positive light on sex work, uh, empowering women, empowering resilience groups with food is, um, is a target of Mills Rails. That's our mission. That's our goal. Kayla, how about you? What is the biggest challenge facing my sister's house? The biggest challenge that faces our community and our, and our organization is transphobia. Transphobia drives people to our organization to need our services. And we have plans to close one day. We don't want to be around 30 years doing the same thing uh, and not actually exuding a result that our community is deserving of. So that's one of the biggest things is, is people's transphobia and their lack of knowledge uh, and their lack of desire to learn more about our community. I know that you're very humble about your work, but what are you most proud of when looking back at what you've accomplished so far? When we think about being proud of our accomplishments or celebratory about things that we accomplished, it's very short lived. So when I get asked that question, it's kind of hard for me to like, pinpoint one particular thing that I'm proud of, but I will, I will say that I'm proud that our community is so resilient and we continuously come up with so many different ways to survive until we're liberated. I think that's one thing that I'm like super proud of. Um, I've been afforded the privilege of being able to travel across the United States and see a lot of organizing that's happening. Um, all over the United States. And it's really heartwarming for me coming from the South, not knowing what's happening in Phoenix or what's happening in Chicago, or what's happening in St. Louis, but I'm connected to advocates that are actually there on the ground doing the work. That's a privilege, you know? Um, and it also just lets me know that 
things are changing, things are happening, and there are people just like me everywhere all over the United States that are doing this work. Nikisa, I'll ask you the same question. You know, I have a checkered past. You know, I am two-time formerly incarcerated. Um, I'm a college dropout. Um, you know, I, I took all those obstacles, and when the time was right, I, I made my move. You know what I mean? So, um, I think it's just uh, where Meals for Hills has gone. How many the bigger community that we get to serve? I I started this thinking only serving sex workers, only just delivering to clubs. Now I get to work with Pride Northwest. I get to work with Apano. I get to work with uh, Don't Shoot PDX. Uh, a lot of resilience groups and. Um, People are proud of me, which makes, of course, makes me feel well. And I think just, you know, making my mom proud and my community proud and just, you know, I guess being the, um, being, I don't know if it's outcast, but being labeled, uh, you know, maybe society doesn't see me as being worthy, but showing my worth and showing my worth to my community. Well, you have definitely done that. I want to thank you both so much for being here and the work that you're doing. I'm so incredibly inspired by the both of you. If you want to learn more about My Sister's House and Meals for Heels, check out the links in the description below. I want to thank you so much for watching here today, and we'll see you next time.